Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, people of the YouTube universe? I'm Corel Painter Master Colin Chan, here to show you the awesome new thick paint brushes in Corel Painter 2018. So, all these brushes you're about to see all come stock in Corel Painter. Feel free to pause the video at any moment and look at the top left hand corner because you can see what brushes I am using specifically. The beauty about Corel Painter is that there is a lot of stock brushes and the stock brushes that I'm using are the ones that I like and I'm pretty sure you guys are able to find in the library brushes that are going to suit your needs and wants. Now keep in mind everyone has a different approach in how they create their artwork and this isn't a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to paint. I believe all of you have a little Corel Painter Master. So right about now, it's about that time to drop some of that thick paint. When using any thick paint brushes, it opens a new layer automatically. So now you're able to move that thick paint layer wherever you want. One thing cool about thick paint is that it's pressure sensitive. So as you can see, the harder I push or the lighter I push, it moves the paint accordingly. Now, the variety of thick paint brushes that are offered are outstanding. Let me name you a couple of them. You got grainy scraper, heavy texture palette knife, real bristle oil filberts, and my favorite, paint tube. So if you're wondering why that's my favorite, it's because now I'm capable of doing what I do traditionally, digitally, which is squeezing paint from the tube onto the canvas. Now, my painting is coming to an end, and what I want to leave you guys and gals with is that just because the tool is named one thing doesn't mean you're unable to make it do another. For instance, right now, I'm using a blending tool to make drips of paint. So I'm Colin Chan, thank you for your time, and be sure to try out Corel Painter 2018.